the tape that I'm using is uh, from FastCap. I've used a lot of the metal sticky rules uh, that I've been able to find uh, at Rock or in other places in the past. But I discovered this, uh, I like it a lot better for a couple of reasons. One, it's, uh, it's a very nice material and it is uh, printed on both sides. So there's no sticky tape on it. It comes with a separate roll. What's really nice about this is it's 16 feet long. It's in imperial and metric. And it's printed one way on one side and one way on the other. So if you want to have your extensions exactly eight feet or less, right and left, you can cut this exactly in half, flip, use it on one side, left to right, and flip it over and use, and use the other piece on the other side, right to left. So it saves you a little money that way. I'm going a bit beyond eight feet. So I have two of them for my extensions. Obviously when you make yours, if you don't need have that extra length. I have a common situation where I'm trimming eight foot doors in houses. We do, we do eight foot tall doors typically, so the, the trim is a bit longer than eight feet. So to make that miter, I, I wanna be able to go a little, a little beyond eight feet. This, this is what you get in the package. You get the, the uh, 16 foot rule, and you get, which is seven eighths. And they send you a nice roll of the speed tape, uh, which is three quarter which works uh, well, it, it's, it's easy to set up that way. In my case, you know, I have a little uh, rabbit cut to, to help protect the tape, because this is gonna be moved around and in movement and sliding it in and out of the truck, you know, I could, could catch the edge of the tape. So I, I wanna have tape across the, the full width, and they don't make a 7H tape. Th this tape I buy independently, they sell it separate from the rules. It's a great product to have, uh, when you need double stick tape on a job it's really thin it's very strong it's a good product so i'll use this in another application so what i did was at the same time that i ordered the the uh, two tapes i ordered some one inch speed tape one inch wide speed tape it's a 50 foot roll and i will put this down in there and cut off the the excess so it's a it you don't need to do that but it, it's just my preference uh, because i want to make sure that the the tape doesn't have any edges that uh, something can get underneath and start popping it up and then I have to replace it. Now that I have the, all the flip stops made, the left and the two lefts and the two rights, all I need to do is uh, put on the, uh, the sticky rule and adjust it so that, uh, that I've got a precise cut that I can trust when I'm, when I'm on the job. So what I'll do is uh, I will set up for a two, inch, a two foot cut get my stop all set up and make a mark where that is. Then I'll put down the uh, sticky tape, put the rule on that, do the adjustments on that. Then I'll make a cut at two foot, verify that it's right. If it's off slightly, then I can adjust the stop, but I'll be very, very close enough that it'll just take a very slight adjustment on the stop, if any. Because the stops have some adjustability, I'm gonna mark the stop that I have. The second stop, I'll actually adjust it to match this stop once I'm all done. So I've got an X I know, so I won't confuse the two stops. That should be 22. That's off about a 32nd. 
and that's right on. So now I have my left and right done, and I have all four of the stops calibrated, so whichever one I put on, it will work. Obviously, I put this tape on all at the same time, so it's going to work out, you know, all the way out onto the extension, and I can double check that. It's 48, so I'll go out to 47. Actually, I'll go to 47 and a half. 47 and a half right on, so I can depend on this. And if uh, it ever uh, goes out of adjustment, these are all, all these flip stops are adjustable. So probably each time I started the job, I'd do a quick test cut just to make sure I was on, and then, uh, and then I'd be able to trust them for the rest of the project.